work in the show is my form of new collage. I call it iPodology. I'm creating abstract images using the iPad and then using apps to create a series of layers. And as opposed to working with paper and you're making layers by cutting and tearing paper, now I'm taking photographs, I'm editing them, and then putting one photograph on top of another, juxtaposing photographs together and creating this interesting abstract image. At the beginning of the pandemic, I was working in Patterson and in New York and at the Newark Museum here and there, and I'm set to go. And then by March the 13th, all of those classes have been canceled, and I'm sitting there at home going, what are you going to do now? Who do you think is going to get hurt by this the most? And my reaction was dancers. And I said, if you can't dance, if you can't go to class, if you can't take class, if you can't teach class, if you can't go to rehearsals, something happens not only to your mind, but something happens to your body. Something happens to you. And so I started creating these messages for dancers. I would create a design. I put a layer of a dancer on the design, and then I would add text. The first one was hope, resilience, breathe. The image that is in the show called I Told Jesus, when I sent it out to dancers, I put faith in there also. So I was sending these messages out to individual dancers and I was sending them on Facebook, but I was getting this tremendous response from people who weren't dancers, just looking at the graphic and seeing the message and saying, wow, that was really powerful. It helped get me through the day. And then I called it the PQC, P slash Q slash C, pandemic quarantine, coronavirus period. And I'd never done anything like that before. That was one of the good things about the pandemic. Artists created things they'd never done before. We've learned to live and meet a new way on Zoom. <laughs> you know, so those are some of the positive things that came out of the PQC. The second image called Currently Untitled is something I've been doing for years. I'm a photographer by trade, by avocation, by vocation. Photography informs all of my art. When I see something, my eyes take a picture and use it as reference. One of the things I've always been doing since I started in photography, and I've been a photographer now for 45 years, I've always photographed architecture. And I got that from working at the Newark Public Library when I was in high school. So I had this university of books. And one of my favorite photographers was Bernice Abbott and these spectacular photographs that she took of New York in the 20s and the 30s. And so I have a body of work called Manhattan Memories. So currently untitled is the new museum on the Bowery. The new museum was a museum that I went to consistently during the PQC in the later stages. They have a little terrace, I think, on the seventh floor. I photographed the building, and then I took the building and I created this whole new, new museum. I take a picture of a New York architecture icon with a camera, and then I take a picture of it with my iPad. And so I have a real photograph and I have an abstract photograph. 